rhubarb, and they say, here, double this. And um, I'm not used to this kind of stuff. Um, and what I would rather do is, is juggle the stuff I'm familiar with. I want to put on a quality show. So uh, could you give me a hand here and move this table out of the way, and I'm going to juggle the stuff I'm more familiar with. Um, could you give me a hand? Okay, that's good. So, instead of rhubarb, what you see are some of the cross balls. Now, my name is Peter. Years ago, I teamed up with a fellow named Mark, and together, Mark and Peter would call ourselves the Remarkable and the Repeatable. Remarkable for our astounding feats of skill, and repeatable for our astounding feats of skill. What you see in here now is what we call basic cascade juggling, where a ball is tossed before one is caught by that same hand. Then a ball is tossed underneath the other <laughs> ball. Now, from basic cascade, we're going to get into a number of variations. The simplest is what's called half reverse cascade, where we have one ball popping over the tops of the other two. And throwing in the white ball, we get what's called the tennis variation, which is a white ball bobbing over the top of a red and blue net. And full reverse cascade, where all the balls go over the top. It's what's called the one hand cross under. And swine, where the ball is caught palm down. Well, no, please. can get a little out of control, flying where the ball is caught, calm down. <laughs> so, so far what I've been doing is jug juggling uh, three balls in two hands. We can do two balls in one hand, cycle them around the other direction, up in columns, move over to the left hand, and get one up the middle and the Chicago Double Cross. Now, what you saw me do in there before was two balls in one hand, two balls in another hand. What would happen if we got both hands going at the same time? We would get four balls going. And I only do that for just a bit and move back to three ball juggling and we get into what are called boss throws. Under the leg, behind the back, under the leg catch, and kind of a nice one if I can get it, behind the back toss and catch. Almost. Thank you. Body catches, body bounces, got the knee bounce, forearm bounce, fingertip catch if I can get it, and lastly we're going to do the behind the neck catch, which is the hardest trick I do. I don't always get it. I hope you have patience. What I'm going to attempt to do is with the blue ball catch it behind my neck. So. Okay. Break in the pocket a little bit here. The ball works well, the ball will go soar and up in the air and land there in the pocket behind my neck. And again, I don't tend to get this very often, but if you seem like a happy audience here, we're going to give it a try. So, keep your eyes on the blue ball, so behind the neck, catch. Indian clubs. Um, my friend Mac, Mark and I, when we were the remarkable duo in the very beautiful acts, doing our our work with the Indian clubs, we we worked with them a lot. And we were happy with the progress we were making until they found out we were not from India and they kicked us out of their club. So we started juggling again and we went to pin juggling. Now pin juggling, 
technical difficulties. <laughs> the problem with pin juggling is it tends to be a lot of work, but nobody can ever actually see the pins. <laughs> so we move on to these big wooden things instead. Now what these are is basically a ball with a handle on it. And you have to be careful with them because they can be knuckle buttons. So what I like to do instead is use two clubs, two balls and a club. And from here you can play a little baseball. You can do spin variations. You have what are called flats, where the pin is not spin at all. You can do one and a half, the double spin. Uh, and I usually get applause for dropping balls, but thank you, thank you. I sure hope there aren't any ocean inspectors here because I forgot and neglected to wear the hard hat. Whenever you are juggling the Asian clubs, you must always take the first wear a hard hat. I know it is rhubarb fest, but uh, instead I'm going to be using an apple here. I'm going to be juggling for two balls and one apple, and what I'm going to do is, while juggling, attempt to eat the apple. So, patience here. I have to make sure I get the right one here. <laughs> Thank you. 